God bless. This is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. I pray that each one of you had a blessed Mother's Day. I pray to God, amen, that you were encouraged today. I pray that you had favor today, amen. And I pray that you know for a fact that God is with you today, amen. So I bless every woman that's had a child and every woman, praise God, that has been a mother figure to a child, amen. Every, every woman of God, praise God, should be somewhere in some daughter's life. And I thank God for you. God bless you, Sister Erica. Bless you. Praise God. Happy Mother's Day to you. I pray you've been blessed. I see, amen, your grandkids and everybody been wrapped around you. God bless you, Brother Jones. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Sister T. Praise God. Happy Mother's Day slash birthday. Praise God. Bless you, Sister Ernestine. Pray you had a great Mother's Day. Bless you, Deacon Spinner. Amen. Praise God for you. God bless you, Sister Vonda. Pray you had a great Mother's Day. Amen. Amen. I was just saying, I pray each one of you had a great day. Amen. And that that was nothing to hinder it. Amen. Amen. Bless you, God. Bless you, Sister Tyria. Amen. And listen, it's not over. Refuse to let anybody steal your day. Praise God. Amen. Refuse it. Amen. No weapon formed against your day shall prosper. God bless you, Missionary Burgess. Enjoy your day, praise God. Relax in it. Amen. God bless you, Sister Haskins. Amen. Don't let nothing steal your joy. Amen. I don't care what it is. You still enjoy your day. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. Amen. And even the women, praise God, that may not have had children, but you have, amen, nurtured children and have been a blessing to their lives. We, we thank God for you also. Amen. But don't let nobody steal your joy today. It's all about us being blessed and enjoying ourselves. Amen. God bless you. Bless you. How you doing? Bless you, Sister Parker. Amen. Share out. Praise God. Please share. God bless you, Missionary Maze. Please share. Praise God. Let's get busy. Amen. We don't want to. We got a few more minutes. We're going to hold on a few more minutes. Really enjoyed the day in the park today. Amen. I was praying that everybody would receive the word. Amen. I know it's a little, little challenging. Amen. For me to tell you to shut your mouth and tell the baby is born. Praise God. But it was the idea, the emphasis, amen, on us realizing that we just need to, amen, pray to God and be quiet and wait on the Lord and see what the Lord is going to bless us and not let the enemy make us doubt, amen, what God has planned for our lives. Somebody, amen, need to say amen to me. It was a very powerful message. Enjoyed the time. Oh, amen. I just love, amen, even giving out the flowers, amen, and the gifts to the mothers. It was just a blessed time in the Lord at the park today, and I just enjoyed it. Amen. Even the weather turned out the way we wanted it. Amen. Was concerned. Amen. Weatherman talking about it's going to be freezing, but God made it an awesome day. Amen. I guarantee you, praise God, we need to remember that message. Amen. Because that told us we just need to be quiet and see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. I love the idea, praise God, that he made uh, uh, the children of Israel to be quiet. Praise God. Says, shut your mouth and walk around. Praise God. Walk around. <laughs> Amen. Walk around the, 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 the walls of Jericho. Don't you say a word. Praise God. Amen. And then, praise God, on the seventh time you on the seventh day, then you should shout. But other than that, keep your mouth shut, praise God. Amen. And tell, amen, until the baby is born. And that's what we got to do, praise God. Keep our mouth shut while God is working it out. Amen. And some of you, praise God, I want you to be encouraged, amen. Maybe you didn't really catch it. When you pray to God, no matter how old or no matter how, how many years, amen, God still heard you and he's, his promise is still true to your life. Amen. Praise God. Bless you, Mother Crouch. I am going to come by Mother Crouch in a very few minutes after this program and drop some off on your porch. Amen. Amen. So just I'm going to call you. Praise God. I'm going to drop it off and just keep on going. Praise God. Amen. So I'll be by there praying, man. Amen. About a half an hour after the program is over. Amen. Y'all share out so we can get started. Love you. Going by Mother uh, Sandra's house. Amen. We, had, we gave away flowers today, praise God, and we gave a gift. And I want to make sure the mothers of the church get there. So we love you, praise God. I want to make sure we just drop it off on the porch. Then I'll call you and let you know it's there. Bless your sister Flood. Are y'all sharing it out, praise God, so we can get busy? Amen. We're, we're really winding down, amen. We got very few more days, amen. Then we're going to get into this next next um, next category, praise God. It's going to be a real blessing, praise God. It's going to, tell, it's going to show us how to men and how to be who God's called us to be, not sometimes who we think we need to be. 
Amen. We're going to work in some areas. Praise God. It's going to be really, really good. Praise God. Hopefully, it'll be a blessing to you. So let's continue. We're going to continue to do this until God tells us different. Amen. Uh, we're in the home. Praise God. We This give us time, praise God, to be growing in the Lord. We here, praise God. Amen. 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 Tell Mother Saunders, amen. I'm coming by hers too. Amen. <laughs> amen. I'm going to knock on her. I'm going to just drop by her house too and give her her flowers. Praise God. Amen. And give her her gifts too. They are our mothers of our church and we want to honor them. Praise God. All right. So praise God is, is absolutely critical because see at this time, praise God, we have got to, amen. While we're working them, we should get so strong because that's going to be a great revival. There's going to be people coming to the church, amen, without understanding because this pandemic is not over because they're opening up the, the, the country, amen. And there's going to be people attacked by this and there's going to be people with uncertainty and they're going to be seeking everything after they've run out of all their answers. They're going to have to come to God for the answer. Amen. And we're going to have to be there ready for them. Amen. Ready to love on them unconditionally and show them that we're there. Praise God. We've learned, praise God, to love our enemies. There are going to be some people that's going to be in your church. Praise God. That treated you wrong. There's going to be people that you have to love and usher. Praise God. You have to be at that front door and you have to welcome them in with open arms. You're going to have to be there. Praise God. Call it first touch ministry of living word. You have to be the first one to touch them. Amen. You have to praise God. Love them unconditionally, forgetting those things which are behind you. Amen. Let's share this out. Let's get busy. Please bless, praise God, because this is a good one today. Amen. We're in the letter H, praise God. Amen. In relationships, praise God. And as we always start, relationship, the way in which two or more people or an organization regarding and behave towards each other and the state of being connected. Amen. Related words, praise God, are connection, relations, association, links, correspondence, parallel, alliance, bond, and inter interconnection. Now, the reason, why I, the reason I constantly say this every, every day is because I want you to know that your relationship should have these words connected. Sooner or later, amen, your relationship with God and with anybody should have these words connected, amen, as you develop and build, amen. So that's why I tell you that every day it's got to be understood well. And then, praise God, we spelt out relationship. I pray, amen, some of you cheating me because I still don't have your words. I'm going to start busting some of you out. We only got a couple more days, amen. And some of you have been with me every day and I haven't been blessed by your spelling out of what relationship means to you. You can text them to me. You can Facebook them to me if you're not comfortable to put them out front. But praise God, make sure we do so. Listen to this. Amen. So R means return. E means enter. L means love at any location. A, A is act, active. Um, T is trust. Amen. In these times, I is intimacy. O is open. N is I'm not, I'm not letting anything I see or dealing with stop me from living what I know. Um, the B, the S is we should not be, we should be stronger by now. And the H is tonight. Praise God. Let's go to work. We're going to be in Isaiah first, uh, first Samuel, praise God. First of all, the 20th chapter, the 30th verse, uh, first Samuel, the second chapter, 30th verse. I got so many scriptures I want to bless you with tonight, but let's start with first Samuel, second chapter, the 30th verse. Amen. And it goes as this, it said, them that honor me, I will honor and they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. Let us do pray. Heavenly Father, I'm grateful for this opportunity once again to share our word. Lord, we're just so grateful how you've been blessing us all day long. We thank you for every mother, God, and everyone that's attached to this live broadcast right now, God, this live stream. We ask that you favor their lives, touch them from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. Let these words, God, come forth, God, as ever before. Let an anointing flow from me that will bless and encourage lives, God. In the precious name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen and amen. Bless you. Praise God. Amen. So what we find here, praise God, our word today, praise God, for the ages, man, that God will honor you when you honor him. Amen. Praise God. That is our word, honor. Amen. In a relationship, we need to know that it's important that you honor, praise God, each other. Amen. God wants us to honor him, that he may pour out his honor upon each other. Honor is um, originates from our heart. True honor originates from our heart and refers to the value we as a personally place on an individual or something or someone. In other words, praise God, true honor comes from our heart 
And it's the value we place on this relationship. Um, you really, praise God, got to really place true value, amen, in this relationship to honor someone. Now, the problem is, praise God, a lot of people say they honor someone. A lot of people say they honor people with their mouth, with outward actions. Come on, someone. We see it on a regular basis. I need a whole lot of amens. A whole lot of us, praise God, seem to show that we honor our boss or respect those people and honor them. But truly, the only reason we honor them because, praise God, they got in control of our paycheck. Now, nobody, let me see, can I give myself a, a thumbs up? Come on, because that's the God's honest truth. Some of us, amen, don't care a hill of beans about them. We really don't care, no true honor for them. The only reason, praise God, the absolute only reason why we respect them and the only reason why we're giving them any kind of credence is because they handle our check. Somebody say amen to me. If I didn't have no dealings with them, I wouldn't care if they got up in the morning. I wouldn't care if they went to sleep that night. Somebody talked to me besides myself. So praise God. A lot of people, praise God, don't put value in that relationship. It's only a surface kind of honor, praise God. But see, praise God. Amen. Speak through our actions. Amen. So praise God. Our honor, praise God, has got to originate from our heart when we value, amen, praise God, come on somebody, we must value, amen, God through our heart. And then we'll honor him, right, with the love we have for him in this relationship. And once that true love and that true honor come forth, praise God, we begin to, amen, operate in the way of honoring him in all that we do. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I told my kids, and, I, and this is what I'm serious about, amen, when they was growing up, praise God, they honored me and respected me because, amen, they didn't want a whipping from me. Oh, yeah, because they knew when I said certain things were taboo for a whipping, they knew it. And they knew if I said they going to get a whipping, they was going to get a whipping. I never lied to my kids, so they never had to worry about that. I never lied to them. If I didn't want to tell them something, I just didn't tell them. I ain't make a lie about it. I didn't tell them. Amen. Because that's the way I, they've always grown up with me. So praise God. They knew to honor me and respect me, praise God. And amen, because I could whip them. Now, praise God, I'm expecting my children to honor me. It's because they love me. Amen. Because in their hearts, praise God, they want to honor me. Not because, praise God, they I could whip them because they love me and they respect Respect me. Come on, somebody. And this is the way God wants it. He don't want us, amen, to honor him because we're going to control. He's going to control it. He wants us to honor him because we He we love him that well. Is that all right, somebody? Amen. God desires honor that comes from our heart, nowhere else. Isaiah, praise God. Listen to this. Isaiah 29, 13 says, People come near to me with their mouths and honor me with their lips, but their heart are far from me. Amen. God, that it is absolutely true. A lot of people, praise God, come to God and may have said they honor him, but they're far from him, praise God. God wants us, amen, to be so close to him. Now, I'm going to tell you a couple of things. Listen, I got this, praise God. Work with me, man. Let me look. You know, I'm a little different. I'm a little different, praise God. Just like this morning, amen, I told you to shut your mouth until the baby is born. Amen. I know that freaked a lot of you out, praise God, but it blessed your soul if you paid attention. Amen. Today, praise God, I want to show you some of the ways. I got five of them today. Amen. I'm watching my time. Pray five of them that I want you, praise God, to look at. Amen. That you should honor God. The first one, praise God, is honor God with your time. Somebody say amen to me. Somebody please say amen to me. How are you using your precious time? You have to give God glory. Are you giving God glory, amen, sometime with, with, with the ability to read your word? Are you honoring him with prayer? Are you honoring him, praise God, with your time, praise God, with meditation? Are you spending time, quality time with God to get to know him, amen, to reach out, amen, that he may pour into you and that you may speak to him? Are you honoring him with your precious time? Because I'm going to tell you one thing. I believe that time is the only thing you'll never be able to get back. Once time gone, time is gone. Amen. I am going to tell you, praise God, once this 30 minutes is over, it'll never come back to you. You cannot erase time. It is gone. So what I'm saying to you, praise God, how are you using your presence? Do you honor God with some of your quality time? Do you find the time to spend with God? Amen. You'll find, praise God, in Psalms 
144 and 4. Write it down, 144 and 4. I got so much tonight, I don't want to go through all the scriptures. So, amen, it'll talk to you about time. You'll also find it in Isaiah 58, 13 through 14. It talks about your time and how you should spend it with God. Colossians 4 and 5 even speaks to you about time we should spend with God. I want to let you know, praise God, honor God with your time. Spend some time with him. Amen. Not drag time, not grudging time, but joyful time. I want to spend time with God. It means something to me because I'm involved in this relationship. Am I doing all right? Somebody say amen to me. You've got to find, praise God, time with God no matter what. And then listen to this. It's valuable enough to me that, amen, I can spend my time early in the morning with him, even if I got to go to bed early. It's valuable enough time with me that I can cut the TV off and cut my phone off and don't talk to my partner and don't run to the mall and go do this and do all the other things I want to do. It's that important, my relationship. I'm that much in love with him that I honor him with my time that I can steal away and spend quality time with him. Not just cheat him for time, not grudgingly give him time, but give him precious time, amen, that we and him can connect and grow, amen? Number one was honor God with your time. Amen. Number two, honor God with your talent. Oh my God, help me somebody. I'm a firm believer, praise God, there's not one talent you have that you can't use for the kingdom. Uh-oh, I'm going to wait a minute. Hey, oh, unless you're a good gambler. Well, you may not, <laughs> you may not, praise God, be able to go in there and shoot dice, but you can use your creativity and your business savvy. Amen. I'll never get praise God. Man told me, he said, praise God. Sister said, well, I, I have never did anything, but I've been a prostitute all my life, da, 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 da. And I did drugs all my life. And he said, well, what did you have to do to drugs? Well, I had to manage the money, so then I could go, praise God, and buy my drugs. He said, well, you're a good entrepreneur. Not only that, you know how to manage money. Amen. And he then put her in charge of the finances. And she became so good. Come on, talk to me, praise God. And she became so good that she began to put the money and know how to financially put the money in the church into good uh, business ventures and begin to make money for the church. See, you cannot, praise God, uh, uh, ever put yourself down because what your gifts are, if you tap into them, your talents, and let God have his way. So whatever your talent is, use them for God. Amen. If you go out and give a man eight hours a day and you pour into that company because he's paying you and forget that it's only God that gave you ability to have the knowledge, Somebody talk to me. Don't think you that smart by yourself. Don't think you picked it up because you was all there in a bag of chips. No, it's the grace of God because there was somebody born on the same day and probably the same hour you was born that lost, don't have their minds, don't have their faculties, praise God. And then somebody that day didn't make it when they were born. Come on. Oh, y'all not trying to help me out. Look, y'all don't left me, praise God. I'm talking too deep. So it's important, praise God, amen, that we use it. These are your gifts that God has given you. These are given gifts and abilities that God has blessed you with. And God expects that you give them back some. Not all. Now, I'm not telling you to go to the church and spend 99 hours a week in there. No, but I am telling you that you will pour in your talents, praise God, and share those gifts and talents that God's given you. It's a blessing when you give back what God has given to you. Somebody talk to me, saints of God. I've come to realize there's absolutely nothing that I ever have that it wasn't from the kingdom. And nothing, amen, nothing, praise God. My breath and my body, amen, down to all, amen, is only because of the glory of God that I have it. So praise God, I understand, praise God, it's only because of his kingdom that I am who I am. Somebody say amen. So number two, praise God, is honor God with your talent. Somebody say amen. And we'll use Matthew 25, 14 to 30 to support you, praise God. Matthew 25, 14 to 30 will tell you to use your talents to bless the kingdom of God. Amen? Number three. Somebody say number three. Honor God with your temple. Oh, my God. Amen. That means your body. Amen. That means, praise God, we've got to honor God. Don't allow everything to defile you. That's why we got to be careful what we eat. We can't, you know, that's why I had to come off this way because I realized that I was not taking care of my temple. God has blessed me, praise God, to live. Amen. There's people my age dead. There, amen. I watched my brother. I watched my sister. I watched all of them. And I realized, praise God, that I wasn't doing well with God 
God has given me. I was not doing well with the temple that God has blessed me with. So I had to be mindful, praise God, what I put in my temple. I had to be mindful, praise God, that I'm honoring God when I take care of the temple of God, when I get my rest, when I keep the peace of God in my mind, when I eat well, y'all not trying to hear me, when I'm praying, all that taking care of this temple, praise God, rest, Peace, praise God. Come on, somebody. Eating well. These are the key things. Drinking water, praise God. Not all them sodas. I don't even remember the last time I had a soda because I am determined to take care of this temple. Come on, somebody. Honoring God with your temple, praise God. Now, you said there's scripture for that? Sure it is. 1 Corinthians 6, 18 through 20 tells us that this is the temple of God. Once we become in this relationship, God is expecting us to honor him, praise God, through the way we do our temple. Now, do we, should, we shouldn't do anything that's going to destroy our temple. Take care of it. That means we shouldn't be going out drinking. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I said something nobody want to hear. Oh, y'all don't want to hear it. See, I, uh -uh. I ain't getting no more amens. Y'all don't left me. Everybody got off. We shouldn't be drinking and smoking dope and smoking cigarettes and doing all kind of crazy stuff with our temple. Somebody, y'all better help me out. Come on. Living word better get on this. I'm a, uh uh, come on. Call everybody by their name. Come on. This is God's honest truth. We got to take care of this temple. We can't allow everything, praise God, to enter into our temple. Amen. We got to be careful, praise God, because this is God's temple. We can't let everything have its way in our temple. Eat well, sleep well, amen. Keep our mind at peace. Is that all right? Put the right things in so the right things come out. Somebody talk to me, amen. Make sure, praise God, we don't defile our temple with things of impurities, amen, of the world, praise God, and the thoughts of the world. So number three, praise God, is honor God with our temple. Is that all right? Number four, honor God with your treasures. Hey, that's absolutely right. Honor God with what God has given you. When God gives you wealth, when there's these finances, these means, praise God, what do you have? Jesus said, honor him where your treasure is, there where your heart will be also. Amen. Praise God. When you, amen, find that, amen, money means more, amen, to you than it needs. It said, amen, the root of the love of money is the root of all evil. But it said nothing wrong with having money. Is that when you're in love with money, amen, money is a tool. Somebody say a tool. It's a tool that every one of us need to survive and to operate on this earth. There's absolutely no other way that we're going to be able to function these days without finances. So God will give them to us, but when we love it and we're not willing, praise God, to, uh, we're confident to it and gluttoning for it and, and willing to, amen, do all sorts of stuff for it. Come on, someone, and, amen, and mess around here, praise God, and lose out. You need to honor God with your, your treasures. Now, let me explain to you. That means, praise God, is God, let me ask you one question, is God worth a dime? Is he worth 10 cents to you? Is he worth a dime? Oh, I need to ask that once again. Is he worth a dime to you? If he is, pay your 10%. A dime, praise God, is a 10% is, is of a dollar. Amen. You should be paying your tithes. Amen. That 10, oh, I know you want to hear. And then your offering. Now, check this, come on, somebody. Amen. Some of us, praise God, is just like this. Amen. We're not paying. Our, uh, now, I know. I know. Don't Please don't cut me off. Come on. Encourage me right now. As God, I prayed about this. Some of us, praise God, I'm not being wise when our finances. I'm keep encouraging you. Pay your rent in a way if you got the money. Pay your mortgage if you got them. Pay your lights. Pay these things. Whether they say they're not going to cut it off, it's going to come due, praise God. But not only that, praise God, it's the same thing. Some of us say, well, we ain't going to pay our tithes because we're not going into the church. You have still got to be faithful to everything and if everything is the same. I'm never going to lack on God because guess what? I don't want God to cut me off because that's a pandemic. Uh-oh, somebody say amen to me. I don't want God to stop blessing me and overflowing me because there's a pandemic. I'm still expecting God to overflow and bless me just like everything's still the same. So I'm going to bless God with my treasures, praise God, and I'm going to make sure, praise God, that my heart is not attached to money, that money means more than God. Somebody say amen to me. Somebody say hallelujah, praise God. Now I'm going to give you a couple of scriptures. Matthew 6 and 21 is the one I just read. You also see Proverbs 3 and 9. You also see Malachi 3 and 10. Praise God. Those are our scriptures to support. Amen. What I've just said. And the next one, praise God. Uh -oh, here's the one I like. And I, you know, I had to put a spin on it. God wants us to honor him with our ticker. 
What do you mean your ticker? Amen. Your heart. God wants, amen, that means your heart, your ticker. God wants us to bless you with his, your heart. There's many, many scriptures encourage us to love God with all our heart. There's a number of scriptures talking about love with all your heart. Amen. It, 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 it's so many scriptures that tells us we honor God with the love we have in our heart for God. You know, praise God, we need to fall in love. As the songs have fallen in love with Jesus. I love it. Falling in love is, is true with him because there's absolutely nothing. Praise God like him. Because I learned, praise God, when I figured out, praise God, once I got saved and realized how much of a love and how much of a passion and how much he did, I realized right away, praise God, that the, my heart needs to be there, praise God. And can I help you, praise God? The best thing you can ever do is find yourself a mate that's in love with God. <laughs> Uh-oh, y'all better help me. I need a whole lot of seat. I ain't got nobody. Look, I'm the only one. Let me do some. They don't give me a chance to give myself some, some thumbs up because I sure blow it up. Because I'm telling you, God's honest truth. The greatest thing you can find is somebody in love with God. Because if they're in love with God, they'll know how to be in love with you. They'll know how to love you. Come on, you need to blow this thing up. If you ain't found nobody yet, you better hurry up and ask God to sing. That's what you want. Because when they're in love with God, they'll know how to love you, honor you, and respect you. Because if anybody know how to love God and know the love of God, they'll know how to put their love to you. See, y'all ain't trying to help me out. Some of y'all just playing tonight. But I'm telling you, God's honest truth. That's what you want, praise God. So praise God. Those five things, amen. I'm going to give you some of those. There are many scriptures that talk about, amen, encouraging us to make a God number one in our hearts. Make him number one. Amen. It says, seek you first the kingdom of God. Amen. He'll add all these things unto you. Amen. That means, praise God, when you got your heart right with God, he's going to overflow you with the desires of other things. I look through our scriptures, praise God, and see men and women that that's all they did was seek God. And then God began to overflow them with the other things that they needed, and they didn't even realize it was coming. Anybody with me? They went out for nothing but to serve and please God, and by doing that, God blessed them. I'll give you a prime example. Abraham was told, amen, if you just leave home, check this out, check it out, I'll make you a great nation. He said, I'll make you great a nation. I mean, that's what he said. He said, you have enough kids, praise God, that, amen, to see the stars in the sky wouldn't be able to count, uh, the sands in the ocean wouldn't be able to catch up with. Uh, I'm just trying to tell you, your sands on the beaches, all that. But then, guess what he did? He blessed Abraham, amen, because Abraham was divinely obedient and honored him with those things that Abraham was so wealthy that Abraham had an army enough men and went and fought and killed amen, and conquered another nation. Abraham's men. I ain't talking about him and another country. Abraham's men went and, and went and captured, amen, and won a war. Now, you trying to tell me God doesn't honor you? Talk to me, saints of God. That's because Abraham's heart was in love with God, and God overflowed him. Listen to what I said. He had an army enough men to take on a country. Not only that, praise God, Abraham was wealthy. Amen. Because all he did was do what God says, seek him, be obedient. And then God has a way of overflowing you. So I'm telling you, saints of God, stop out there chasing anything but God. You chase God and everything else will chase you. Ooh, somebody write that down. Oh, my God. Put that out on Facebook today. You chase God and everything else will chase you. Somebody put it out there. Somebody, you better put it out there. Say, per, give me some props on that one because that's powerful. When you chase God, amen, everything else will chase you. Because the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all those things be added. So you chase God. Come on, somebody. And all the other things will chase you. Amen. Praise God. So, amen. Here's some scriptures that will support you on that. Amen. Here it is. Praise God. It's Isaiah. Praise God. 28, amen, 29 and 13. Amen. 29 and 13. Proverbs 3 and 5. Proverbs 4 and 23. Proverbs 23 and 26. And Psalms 51 and 10. All of these, praise God, amen, tell you, praise God, about your heart. That ticker should be first to God. Amen. And here's the thing. Now, when you do those five things, here's what you're going to get out of it. When you honor God, listen, ooh, here we go. Here's my favorite. This thing has been popping up to us, saints of God, so much. It's about to blow our mind, praise God. Amen. When this is going to blow our minds, this is going to blow our minds. When you, praise God, honor God, God will honor you. 
Psalms 23 and 5. Thou will prepare a table <laughs> Woo! before me in the presence of my enemy. Guess what else he said? He will anoint my head with oil. And what? My cup runneth over. Y'all ain't trying to help me out. When you honor God, when you got those things in order, when you are living this relationship right, God is going to overflow you, praise God, and prepare a table in the front of those, praise God, that didn't think you deserved one. Woo! Praise God. When you chase God, everything else is going to chase you. You're going to find yourself with an overflow. That's because you honor God. I love it, praise God. I'm going to tell you one thing. I love, praise God. Amen. I love it, praise God. When you honor God, God's got a way of just overtaking you with with favor. Somebody say amen to me tonight. Make sure that you hear what I'm saying because this is just great stuff all by itself. Amen, someone. Praise God. Hallelujah. God so good. Amen. 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 Let me tell you. Here's what I like. And I'm just this is this is not part of my notes. But let me tell you, Solomon is a prime example. Solomon, amen, was told by God, whatever you want. You can ask me for anything. You want riches. You want life forever. Whatever you want, you ask right now. I don't care, praise God. You can ask it right now. I'll give it to you. Whatever you want, praise God, you can get it. You want riches. You want fame. You want fortune. You just ask. And Solomon looked around and said, God, you've already blessed me. And all I want to do, praise God, is be able to bless and do and honor your people. I want to do your will the correct way. That's showing love to God. I said, God, I want to love you enough to bless your people the correct way. He said, I just want to be the one that when you look down and see that I'm honoring you right. Come on, somebody. That what I say and do on the throne will please you. That's what I want to do, God. So you help me understand that. You give me the wisdom, God, that when I operate on your throne, when I speak over your people, I'm doing it to please you. <clears throat> praise God. And when he did that, come on, somebody, it shook from heaven. And God said, because you didn't ask for your enemy, because you didn't ask for long life, because you didn't ask for wealth, because you wanted to operate and to do and honor me, I'm going to give you everything else. Come on, somebody. You can tell somebody when you chase God, everything else will chase you. I need about 10 more. Oh my God, it's 702. Oh my God. I got carried away. Amen. Um, Amen. Praise God. All right. All right. So praise God. We'll close out. I got, I got a couple more scriptures, but amen. You hear what I'm saying? Praise God. Am I making sense to anybody? God will honor you in this relationship. H is honor. When you honor God, God will surely honor you. God is looking for those he can bless. God is looking for those that are willing to praise God. Be faithful that he can bless. Chase him and everything else will chase you. Don't be chasing anything. Don't be looking to your left and right. Don't even look for your husband. Don't even look for your wife. Oh, now, me and Bozo look for that. You're supposed to be out there, brother. But, amen, don't praise God. Be out there, and that's all you're doing. Don't I mean you be seeking God. Amen. Look to the hills which come without help, and God will pop it right in your face. Come on, somebody. You begin to say, God, I'm waiting for you to do it. And stop going out there looking for yourself. Praise God. Somebody say amen to me. But when we seek God for the divine connection, when we seek God first and chase God, God's said everything else would chase you. Somebody said, I'm going to honor God with all the things, amen, according to these five things. This man of servant has spoke over my life tonight. I'm going to honor God with all my heart that the devil cannot enter in. Is that all right? Praise God. Amen. Give of praise. Amen. We're going to speak into this thing right now that we will honor God, that God can open up the wonders of heaven and floor down on us the blessings that is promised upon his word. We're going to praise God, pray right now, and praise God that this is the day that the Lord has made and he will flourish into uh, us, God, as ever before. Is that all right? So I need one or two of you, praise God, right now to touch and agree with me because this is where two or three are gathered in my name. I am in the midst. And if we just believe right now, praise God, that we can continue to honor God, that God will overshower us with all the favor that's from heaven. Somebody say amen to me. Let us go before the Lord. Heavenly Father, I am grateful, God. I am truly grateful for the opportunity to know, God, that you are all that I need. And God, I shall honor you, Lord, as this man servant has given us the five steps of honoring you, God. That shall not be a 
kink in my armor from this day forward. I'll honor you, God, with my time. I'll honor you with my talents. I'll honor you, God, with my temple. I'll honor you, God, with my treasures. I'll honor you with my ticker, God. The five T's I'll deal with, God. I'll deal with the five T's according to your will. God, in the name of Jesus, have your way with me, God, that you may be able to bless me. Help me to chase you even more, God, that things will chase me. In the name of Jesus, God, for Lord, I honor you, God, and I want to honor you with my heart. Let it come from my heart, not grudgingly, God. Let it not come from anywhere but from my heart, God, that I'll lift you up and magnify you, God, that I can be one, God, that you can see worthwhile, God, and be blessed unto your name. In the name of Jesus, we claim it right now, God, that you and you alone, God, has all authority in our lives. Now bless each one of us, God, to honor you. We celebrate your holy name, God, and we give all claim unto thee, God, in the precious name of Jesus. Now, Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for just another Mother's Day. We thank you for every mother, God, the ones that produce, that has, has had children, and God, those that have just been bearing children through the spiritual levels, God. We bless every one of them, God. Those that God has been there to crush women and people up, God, that didn't have people in their lives. We ask that you continue to bless them. Encourage every woman, God, in the name of Jesus, that maybe, God, those that are grieving the loss of a child. I speak in the atmosphere of the encouraging over their lives, knowing that, God, you are the author and finisher, and you don't make mistakes. Now, bless everyone, God, that may be heavy because they lost a loved one, but, God, you still yet make no mistakes. God, we still chase you, Lord. We still honor you, God. We still trust you, God, with every Everything we have in the precious name of Jesus. Now have your way, God. Have your way, somebody. Tell them, have your way with me, God. Use me, God. Let me honor you, Lord, in all that I do. Have your way, God, in the precious name of Jesus. Now through this pandemic, God, we refuse to allow it to stop us from praising you. We refuse to allow us to slow down, God, for lifting you up. We refuse to allow us to stop us from growing. We will not let it have any authority in our lives. We shall continue to magnify you, God. We shall continue to be the king them workers we are. We shall be continue to give you glory. We shall continue to be the light unto this dying world. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. We'll call unto this time season, God. You call the saints of God to lift up a standard. And God, right now, we shall, Lord. Now bless each one of us, God, in the name of Jesus. You, we know we need you to cover the health care workers. We know we need you to cover the first responders and the essential workers. But God, we ask for salvation, a great revival over our lives. In the glorious and us shut of them all. Have it come your way, God. Let it strain down, God, as ever before. Let there be a revival in this system. In the name of Jesus. Now, God, let your glory, let your Shekinah glory be seen. In the name of Jesus, let your Shekinah glory be seen. In the name of Jesus, let your Shekinah glory be seen. In the name of Jesus, have your way in it. In the name of Jesus, show your glory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray this, God. Now, God, we claim all this to be said, God. Continue to bless our elderly, Lord. Shield and protect them, God. Cover them, God, in a mighty way, God. Bless them, God, from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. Let them lack nothing. Bless Bless our children. But most of all, God, let us give you all the glory in our lives. Let the breath we breathe, God, and the ways we operate be able to glorify you. In the precious and anointed name of Jesus, we do pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. We celebrate you. Amen and amen and amen. Listen here, praise God. We love every one of you. God knows we do. Amen. That's absolutely not a thing you can do about it. Praise God. We're going to honor God. Listen to him. Listen to him. Put it out there. Chase God, praise God, and everything else would chase you, praise God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and everything else shall be added unto you. I love you, God knows I do. See you tomorrow, praise God, at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. Be blessed.